I was inspired by a lot of jazz. I, I played a lot of jazz, and I always heard Hendrix at the same time as I was listening to Miles. And uh, at some point, I started getting more interested in electronic music uh, and you know, working with machines and stuff like that. A lot of the influences later on came, you know, from from electronic producer, from like, you know, Aphex Twin or or uh, Fotec or Square Pusher and those guys, you know. This is kind of really set the whole thing in motion, which what we do with our band with Nerf, you know, this is the, this being the, the the nucleus of it, you know, trying to bring the syntax of electronic music into real-time playing. Because electronic music, to a big degree, still is a premeditated medium, you know, so trying to bring those aesthetics into the art of improvisation and the art of creating music and composing real music in, in real time is kind of what we've been doing and cultivating and, and developing. You know, the great thing about this machine is that it has consolidated a whole array of like stomp boxes and like uh, um, effects devices into the most minimal space and weight requirement. Once I discovered the filter delay, it, it was a really became a bit of a staple in in a, a signature patch, you know. I've been acquainted with even type machines for a very, very long time. It creates an atmosphere as almost if I work with another musician, not really with a machine, because it's it has this, I don't know, uh, it has a visceral feeling that, that is a little bit different. I just randomly hit a patch and, and see how it hits me and, and, and it entices me to do something unexpected. And this is, I really like. So my role in Nerve is a little bit different from your usual sort of sound guy. Um, the whole, one of the sort of the main parameters of the band is the, the idea of improvisation. So the fact that we may have various structures that we'll hang a song on, but beyond that, it's sort of all open for interpretation. Because we tour with all our gear, I have to tour with, I have to make the most out of everything I tour with. So I really only have four pieces of outboard with the console. Um, and so this is a really important piece of gear for me. Um, you know, as we were talking earlier, it kind of functions like an H3000, which is one of my favorite studio pieces of gear, but it's this big, so I can actually tour with it. We fly a lot. Mm. So, um, you know, the size and the sound quality really make it really useful for me. And it just has a billion sounds. I'm always changing, and that's what I'm trying to do with the experience, is have it be forever morphing for the audience so they don't just get used to one sound as well. Yeah. I mean, again, it's more of an electronic concept where it's not just like, here's the drum he's playing like, goom, goom, gang, goom. you know, there's like things happening all the time to, to sort of increase the excitement. I don't really acquire a piece of technology unless I know what to do with it. Mainly, I follow simplicity and I follow the range of what I feel I need to express from here. And then I'll find the technology to help me to do that. 